Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome back to another part of the jewelry lot unboxing. Um, so this will probably be the second, well, it's definitely the second part, probably the last part of the box. Um, so let's get into it. If you're interested in anything that you see, you can email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com. Um, all my information is always down below in the description box. And please check that sold list in the comment section. Um, you need to refresh the page once you're done watching um, so that you'll get the most up-to-date sold list. And then, you know, just give me a um, timestamp and a brief description of the items that you're interested in. And let's see what we got in this part. All right, this... There's a little tag here, Lane Bryant. Let me move in a little bit. So this is kind of like an illusion necklace. Um, let me just fix it up a little bit here. Maybe that's how it's supposed to go. So you got um, gold tone and silver tone. There we go, that's a little bit better. It's in good condition, it's got an extender. It's an eight inch drop at the shortest without the extender. So let's do this for $6. Ooh, this looks cute. Let's see what you are. So that is a really pretty um, toucan, all blinged out on a nice thick chain. The chain is Monet, so I, I don't really think that this these two went together, um, but that's okay. I think all of the stones are here, yes. So we're gonna sell it as is. You can always take off the chain and use something else. It's a 15 inch drop, and I will do uh, $12. I think the Monet chain alone is worth that. Okay, we have a, this looks like, um, for a watch, like a watch band, stainless steel, and like this cord, and then here you have three different extender pieces. Um, brand new, I just took out of the package. It's a six and a half inch length. Plus, obviously you would put the watch face in here, I believe. So I will do $5 on it. Okay, this is all tangled. This is a cross, I think it says 925 on it. It says, I don't know, it says something other than the 925. What does that say? J.A., is this a James Avery? Oh my gosh, if it is, this is going to be my first James Avery. I've never even found that in a thrift store or anything. Italy 925. Yeah, so um, I think this is James Avery. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, hmm... I don't know if I want to sell it. I'm going to think about it. And if I am deciding, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to make sure it's James Avery. If I am deciding to sell it, you will see a price right here. If there's no price, I'm keeping it. Um, but let me give you the measurement on the chain just in case. It's a nine inch drop. 
All right, so let me do research and think on that. And by the time I edit the video, I'll have an answer on the screen. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so this is a beautiful resin piece with um, dried flowers in it. I think it also is a 925 chain at least. Yeah, I don't see, oh wait, right here. What does that say? ATI 925 Mexico. Okay, so both the chain and the pendant. Yep, so um, let's do a measurement. Eight and a half inch drop. And let's get the testing stuff. This is a really pretty chain. And the pendant. Just a little scratch, don't wanna mess it up or anything. And let's see. So we do, we have sterling on both pieces. Alrighty, good, good. Let me get a little piece of this paper towel here. Okay, so let's do, let's do, let's do $23. Okay, gorgeous. All right. I can get this open, there we go. This looks like a men's bracelet. Um, maybe stainless steel, yep. Stainless steel. There's a couple little marks, but you know, nothing serious. It's an eight and a half inch length, and I'll do five. This says Amazing Grace. Move over. Um, I think it's just Silver Tone. So it would fit nice around the wrist. Let me um, close it so that I can get a measurement. Give me one second. I'm gonna do it on the smallest setting. It is six inches at the smallest. And then it has another, I would say two inches. Let's do $5. This looks pretty. This is rhinestones, super blingy rhinestones. Um, let's see if there's any markings. I don't see any. Oh, nope, is it? Nope. So it clips in nice, nice. This is gorgeous. Um, it is a seven inch, oops, I dropped it. Seven and a half inch length. It might be sterling. Um, it's not marked, or it could just be rhodium plated. No, I don't think it's sterling. I can see the red the copper coming through okay not sterling clean this up quick seven and a half inch length absolutely stunning i'm gonna do ten dollars 
Let's see what this was. I keep trying to kept trying to sneak on screen here. That is very pretty. It's like a little tree. Both sides. Let me inspect it a little bit further. There is a marking. Something's wrong with the little link here. I think someone just clipped it, clasped it wrong. It does say ATI925, okay. And then I don't know about the pendant though. It might be as well. Well, you know what, let's, let's just do a test rooney You could also look inside the bale. But this bale is very tiny. And I don't see any markings in the bale. So we're gonna check it anyway. And we're gonna test the chain because it should come up as sterling silver. Okay, let's see. There's the chain. Okay, so the, the pendant is not anything. Um, the chain is definitely coming up as sterling. Let's just check and see if maybe this is gold. Let's do um, just 10 karat gold, because if it eats the line, it's not going to be 14 karat. But the chain is definitely sterling. And no, it's eating away the line. So it's just a gold tone pendant on a vermeil sterling silver with the gold wash chain. Okay, let's put all you guys away. Um, it measures eight inches on the drop. I will do $14. This was not in a bag. Sweet six, I would say sweet 16, but I don't think it's supposed to be that. It just says sweet, maybe sweethearts. Avon 925. Yes, Avon did make sterling silver items. So did Sarah Coventry. So this looks like one of those, um, Things that you can put like the little angel people on with the birthstones. The little children people. Um, I just put away the stone, but let's see. Tis, tis. All right, of course I ran out of stuff to clean off my board. So let me grab my makeup rounds. So this is a sterling uh, sweetheart pendant that you can, you know, um, hook charms onto. So let's do, um, let's do $25. That's awesome. Oh, look, that's Mark Sterling. Let's see. Oh yeah, 925, so just the clasp is, let's see if these, yep, these are real pearls. It's a little bit bent out of shape, but they're almost like a, like a peachy color, champagne, more of a peach. Let's see how we're gonna be able to do this with it all curved and everything. Okay, so it is 15 inches and I will do uh, $12. It needs to be bent back into shape. Next up, sisters. 
with two butterflies. Guaranteed friends for life. Oh, it says 925 on the bail. It says, oh wait, no it doesn't. It says um, stainless steel. Where's my loop? Stainless steel china, but this chain is nice. This is a sterling silver chain. Hmm. I don't really know if, I mean, I guess it goes because it's shiny. It's an eight inch drop. I will do $18. Ooh, this is Brighton. Pretty, beautiful condition. Um, there is a little bit of an extender. Let's measure it. It can go from seven inches to eight inches. So seven, seven and a half and eight. Gorgeous condition, Brighton, let's do $15. This could possibly be sterling. This, I'm not quite sure what kind of a stone this is. I thought it might have been blue stone at first or blue sunstone, but there's no speckles. It looks more like lapis, but polished. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to really see it. I'm not really sure. It's definitely cold. So any guesses, let me know in chat, uh, in the comments. Um, and then it comes down to the little dangly bits. It might be sterling. I mean, I'm, I guess we're gonna be testing a whole lot of stuff today. We're gonna test that and then we'll test the clasp. So these are the little balls, the little, that's the clasp. Oh, yep, it all is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go, it's all blue. Okay, so I don't know, these little beads in between might be sterling too. Not sure on what kind of blue stone this is, but everything else is sterling. The drop is 10 inches. And I will do, let me fix that. There we go. I will do uh, $25. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Here's something else that's not in a bag. Wow, this is nice. This is, I think these are just um, acrylic. I don't see any maker marks. It has a fold over clasp. It's seven and a half inches. It's in really nice condition. Um, let's do um, let's do fourteen dollars. Okay. Okay. 
This is a torque. It does say 925, but what else does it say? Mexico. So a 925 torque. Um, not sure how we're going to be able to check the size on this. Let's see if I can go like so. Yeah. So this one is smaller. It's only 14 inches. Um, so that might be a little tough, but I will do $20. This, this might be black spinel. It does say 925 China on the back. And then it does have 925 on the clasp. Boom, right in there. Let's turn on Pressy. This is kind of like a torque as well. Let's get a, a measurement on that while we wait. It is a total length of 20 inches. Okay, let's bring the Presidium over here. And we're gonna move this and we're gonna put you here. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can touch them. Hmm. Nope, they might just be glass. I'm trying to do the clear stones. Yeah, I think it's all glass. Okay. So for this one, I will do 30. This is very pretty. It's also a torque. It is rose gold with all these tassels. This one um, looks like it might be 14 inches as well. Let's see. Yep. Um, so let's do $5 on that. Probably should have brought my scissor over here. Ooh, look at this, it's a set. So, these are faux pearls, but this looks interesting. What does that say? I'm doing this with the other hand, so bear with me. What does that say? M-E-T-T-M-E-T-A-L-L, -L, Metal. I've never heard of that. Yeah, or Netal. Let's do an eBay search, guys. M, let's start, try M-E-T-A-L-L, -L, Pearl Necklace. Yeah, that didn't work. All right, well, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I'm probably going to undersell this so bad. 
Um, but if anybody knows anything about it, you know, feel free to enlighten me in the chat, in the comments. Uh, let's do the measurement on the necklace. 18 inches. And the bracelet, seven and a half inches. I had to stop and really check this out. So I did find a few listed on Etsy, um, signed Matal. So, um, you know, they're not super duper expensive, but they have a pretty, pretty okay price. So, um, I will do, I don't know if anyone, you know, that you don't want the set, I will do, um, um, 18 for the necklace and 14 for the bracelet. Okay. All right. Let's see what all this goodness is. Ooh wee, look at that. How pretty. Gorgeous. Um, it does look like sterling and probably quartz. Yeah, sterling. This might be like a moss agate. Or maybe even just um, another quartz. Let's check out with Pussy. Oh, or it's just glass. Hold on, that slipped off. There we go. So quartz and... I guess glass, okay. And sterling silver. So that's pretty cool. It's an eight and a half inch drop with sterling findings. Let's do, um, let's do $12. It's a nice deal for you guys. These are real pearls and maybe glass. Double strand, gorgeous. Let me see if they're glass or quartz. Oh, nope, they're quartz. Clear quartz and pearl. 925 findings. I don't see any other. Yeah, 925. That, this is really pretty, you guys. Um, I'm going to give you a total length on it. It is a total length of 19 inches. And I'm going to do $25. This is um, Picture Jasper. Definitely sterling silver. Yeah, 925 right there on the clasp. And I bet you these stones, these pieces in between are 925. Um, I do see a couple more things that are going to be 925. So um, let's do them all together. So let's do this one. Okay, so that's up there. Next one I see is this Jasper with the turquoise. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. This is definitely 925. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna test that. I mean, it's, 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 it's sterling. Um, this one, let's do a measurement on this one. I just wanted to test the beads on that, but everything's been checking out. This is a 17 inch chain i mean 17 inch length total length let's do 20 dollars okay this one uno de 50 
So this is a bracelet. This is actually really cool. And it's got these little dangly bits. So let's test them. And the clasp. And the beads in between. Okay. What else do we have over here? Okay, we have this guy. Dragonfly necklace. So let's um, test that too. We'll test the dragon. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost just broke it. Wow, that is super soft. Okay, that almost, that was scary. Let's try that again, but a little bit more gently. And then let's test these beads. Okay, guys, let's see. This was the first one up top. This is the bracelet. That's the dragonfly. All right, and we are all sterling except for the dragonfly. So the dragonfly itself is not sterling, but the rest of it is. Let's just try that one more time. Nope, okay. But everything else is sterling. All right. Let's go back to this guy and let's do a measurement. Remember to check the sold list before you email me and make sure you refresh the screen before you check the sold list. So when you're done watching the video, just refresh the page, go out, come back in, and you'll see the most up-to-date sold list in the comment section. All right, so this can go from 15 inches to 18 inches, all sterling and jasper, and I'm gonna do 20. This is also all sterling new with the tag so I would say it's about seven inches um I don't really know about this brand uno de 50 bracelet All right, so pretty, pretty up there. Let's see what they are actually, what they have, have actually sold for. Okay, 55, 36, 65. All right, so it's up there. All right, so I will do this one since it has the tag on it still. I will do this one for 30. All right, then we got this guy who is all sterling except the actual dragonfly. So this guy measures an eight inch drop and I will do him for 15. All right, and then we got these. So this also says 925 on a cord with a ring that says 925 as well. Okay, so let's measure this one. It is a 14 inch drop and I am going to do um, 
This one is also 925, right there on the link. A beautiful black pearl. Um, it doesn't say 925 on anything over here, but I'm it's probably 925. Let's do a measurement on this one. It there is an extender. But without it, it's an eight inch drop and I'll do 20. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And then we have this. It also has 925 uh, findings. These are definitely, these are definitely real pearls. Um, they might need a little bit of a cleaning. And this might be smoky quartz. No. It's just coming up as glass. But still beautiful. 12 inch drop. Let's do... Yeah, it definitely needs a cleaning. Let's do $16. All right, let's grab some more. All right, I see a J. Crew sticking out here. So now this is what I do um, with J. Crew necklaces. Well, for the most part, um, I Google image search them because there are a lot of them that are rare. So um, let's Google image search this one quick and see what comes up. So to Google image search, you just literally go to the Google app on your phone and you click the camera. Then you click search with your camera and you're not gonna be able to see it because I'm gonna back up a lot, but you just wait until um, your item is in the square here and then you press search and yeah see look at this so we got a rare one on our hands so someone on Poshmark is selling it for 325 someone on eBay is selling it for 190 see that but then we also have someone on Posh selling it for 40 So that is really super all over the place. There it is right there on Trade C for 122. So, um, hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's check it over and make sure there's no missing stones. Okay, I think we're good. There is a little bit of wear which J. Crew it, it does happen. Let's get a measurement. It can go from 17 and a half inches to 19 and a half inches. The back, you know, has very, very little wear. So I'm going to do this one for $40 and it's yours. Also, if you guys recently, if you guys saw recently my um, last live auction last week, I had, or no, maybe the week before, I don't remember, I had shown this J. Crew necklace. Now, this one is also a rare one that is selling for upwards of $200. Um, it even has like a little asymmetrical part right here that kind of comes up and goes down right there. And this one is in like perfect, perfect condition. Um, all prong set, blue, we got the glitter, everything's blue. And I think, let me see, it goes 18 and a half inches to 20 and a half inches. And I think I was asking like, 
I don't know, like, like 80 or 90 or something on this one. Um, but I will do 60 on it if anybody's interested. This one's in really nice condition. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Because then I see another one right here. Gorgeous. So we're going to take out the Google image search again and do it again. So this one is selling for, whoops, sorry, I wasn't in frame, for $98 on Poshmark. Mm. And that looks like it might be the only one Google's able to pull up. Okay. So um, this one is beautiful. It's, everything looks like it's here. This one's in a lot better condition um beautiful nice bib style this one can go from 16 and a half inches to 19 inches and let's do this one for 40 okay let's put you over here Okay. Wow, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, this is a Kate Spade. Look at that. Gorgeous. This is gorgeous, you guys. If anybody likes green or like earth tones, this is for you. Um... This is definitely a honker. It will knock somebody out. It's actually not very heavy. Um, it looks heavy. I mean, you'll definitely feel it around your neck. Let me see. Let me open it and give you a length. It can go from 19 to 21 inches. Total length. Gorgeous condition, Kate Spade. And I'm going to do $30. That's another honker I'm gonna to put to the side over here because it's gonna take up way too much room on my little desk. Let me open up this little. I can't, I can't get it open. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. All right, there we go. This is gorgeous. Why don't you have a name on you? You don't. So it's got the faux pearls, rhinestones, and AB rhinestones with the plastic still there. Okay, there we go. Um, we have a couple little, very fine little scratches. Nothing too bad, though. Um, there's a little extender. It can go from 7.5 inches to 8.5 inches. So let's do eight dollars. This looks like a little sterling. Yeah, let's see. What do you say? Yep, nine two five Indonesia. Gorgeous. Yep. Sure is. It is a seven and a half inch length. 
Let's do $10. These are pretty, but there's a lot of wear, and I'm not sure what happened here. But um, this one is like almost completely silver tone compared to the other one. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll just do $2 on these if anybody's interested. That is cool. I love this. Let's see, this might be nephrite. Nope, it's jade. Jade. And I don't think it's gold. It actually says Premier Designs. I wonder if it's, if the, if the pendant is um, original to it or not. It's not magnetic, so let's just do a quick, oh yeah, no, it's not even gonna scratch, so we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna sell it as is. It is absolutely stunning, I love this. It's an 11 and a half inch drop. Wow, Jade. Needs a little cleanup, but that's okay. Um, let's do $15. That one is awesome. This is really pretty too. Jane Marie. I don't know who that is, but let's check this. So this is just coming up as glass. Let's see who Jane Marie is. Jane Marie necklace. Okay. So like 15 to 18 bucks. Some are going for 10, 12, 13, okay. It is um, on a gold tone chain with an extender. Let's do it measure without the extender. So it's an eight inch drop, um, $10, gorgeous. Okay, we got, it looks like we got a set here. If I can untangle it properly. Uh oh. Okay. So it says W. I don't know what that symbol means. But you have the Lariat style, or I should say Y style necklace, and then the post earrings. They do not feel like glass. So there's the necklace. It's green and clear rhinestone. Oh, we're missing one. Oh, poop. Doo doo. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sell it. It's an eight and a half inch drop to the Y. I'm gonna sell it as a set, obviously, but you can take out the green from this flower and put it in there and just, just not use the earrings. Or if you have long hair, you probably won't even see up here. So I will sell the entire set for $8. What are you? You look like Sterling. You are not marked as such. 
Oh, wait. Yes, you are. Always look everywhere, guys, because designers put things in weird places. <laughs> Let me just make sure. Where did I see it? Here we go. Sterling. All right, now these are pearls and semi-precious gemstones. Maybe some carnelian. These could be garnet. Those are actually going to spinel. Maybe some jade. Nope, those are actually that's actually nephrite. So we definitely got a lot going on here. Very cool piece. Eight inch length. Let's do um, twenty dollars. This looks like another Brighton. Um, I don't see the um, heart hang tag, but this is definitely, this is definitely Brighton. The heart must have came off with the B. 100%. 100%. Uh, braided cord. Gorgeous. Let me give you a total length so that I can lay out so it can go from yeah, make it longer my desk isn't big enough it can go from 17 to 19 inches um, $15 okay let's grab some more this might be a little bit longer of a video but we gonna finish. Let me get my box cutter. I don't know where my scissors are. Ooh wee, look at this. Look at what I found. Do 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 do. What are you? You are quartz. With a 925 clasp. This must feel freaking awesome on your neck because this is going to be so nice and cold if you wear that in the summer. Oh, yeah. Let's get a length. <clears throat> 19 inches. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do $12. is nice okay so we have the pendant on a chain then we have the earrings I don't see any markings they are glass I don't really think the chain goes but we're gonna leave it it's a 12 inch drop on the chain. The earrings are one and a quarter inches. So I will do $6 on the earrings. They are post back and $10 on the necklace. Ooh, I think this is coral. I think it is. So cool. I think that's just a regular clasp, but not sterling. Somebody may have handmade this. It is very pretty. It is. 18 inches, I will 
will do $15. Oops. Let me get rid of some of this stuff on my desk because I have like no room whatsoever. Okay. Joel. This is very worn. Love Marcy. It's a spade, um, spidel, spidel. Um, I don't really know what one would do with this. I mean, whoever wore this, I mean, they, Joel loved this because look at that. Look how much he wore it all the way down through to the copper. That's sweet. All right, Joel. It's a seven and a half inch, and I'll just do $2 since I don't really know much to we someone can do with that all right all these bangles okay remember guys what I told you about bangles uh oh are these gonna all gonna be sterling wow none of them are sticking let's see this one says strength, extraordinary life, Thailand 925. All right, so what we're gonna do, I might test all of these like in one shot. What is this one? This one is a double, but it looks like it came apart right here. Um, let me just see if there's any markings. I don't see any right off the bat, but we're going to check it. So I'll show you them as I'm going. I don't really see any markings inside this one, unless one of those is... That says 925 Mex. Okay. This one... This is why I tell you guys, check your bangles, check them. Magnet test them and then check for marks. If they're not magnetic, there's a chance that they're gonna be um, sterling silver. I Oh yeah, look at that big one, big mark right there. Okay. Here's one like the second one or third one I showed. So we'll check that. This one's cool. Um, I don't see any markings on this one at all, but we're gonna check. Oh look, here's, okay, so all these are the same. Okay, and I didn't, oh yeah, look. So some of them are marked. So let me get all these together. So there's a total of seven of these. Oh look, these are all together. So these, yep, these are marked. Guys, this is so exciting. Nine two five. God knows what the rest of that says. I M A I. I think F R M or F F M or R F M, something like that. Okay, and then we got these two that are left. Yep, and there's a nine two five there. All right. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. All right, um, so we only need to really check one of these, but let's start at the top. We'll start with the strength. Okay, we'll put them in order. Let me back you guys up. What did I do next? This one, I think, no. This one, I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
Okay, then we'll do this one. Okay, then we'll do this one. Let me try to take up a little bit less room. Then we'll do this one. Okay, then we will do one of these. One of these. And one of these. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Don't drag the tip of your bottle through the scratches. You guys, winner, winner, chicken dinner. They are all sterling boom. Okay. Prices, prices. What are the prices going to be? I mean, those. that's like bright blue. Uh. Okay. So, let's get my mandrel out here and do measurements. Eight inches on the strength. I'll do... $12. This guy is eight inches, but it's a part right here. So for that, I will only do $10. This guy is eight inches. He's got like the hammered look. I will do $15. This guy is seven and a half inches and I'm doing 25 on this. That guy's cool. This one has like the um, textured, textured look. He's seven and a half inches. I will do $16. Okay, now all of these, they are eight inches and I will do them for $8 each. Okay, $8 each. Um, if you buy more than one, I will take off a dollar each one that you add, if that makes sense. Um, the oval ones, these are seven inches around. And I will do them for eight dollars each oh my gosh you guys these this is such good deals and these are vermeil oh what are the um stones oh there's one missing they are they're just glass there is one missing yeah there's one missing these are seven and a half inches one missing I'll do $10 because of that. Whoo, you guys got, just got some deals. Boy, oh boy, did you get some deals. Okay, we only got a few things left, so let's keep going. Oh, there was still more on the table over here, whoopsie. All right, we're gonna finish this video no matter how long it takes because I'm, I don't wanna do a third part. <laughs> All right, so. This also is sterling silver setting uh, fin um, findings. They are real pearls. Beautiful, like gray, a little bit iridescent. Um, they measure in at a eight inch drop. I'm gonna do these for $18. This is Probably sterling. Yep, this is sterling. Gorgeous. Look at this. Let me see if these are anything. Wow. You guys, I think these are garnets. Hold on. Let me bring it over here. I try not to move this too much because it's very finicky. Garnet is the first black line under glass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or it could be tourmaline. Are they black? Let me, um, how do I tell? Let me shine a light on it. 
I think they're black. So it might be an onyx. Because I think like a tourmaline and onyx. So they're black. I would go with that. But absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if we can move this. No. Okay. Nine inch drop, two little dangly bits. $20. These are definitely real pearls. Yep, they have like a copper tone to them. Bronze, beautiful. No clasp. 15 and a half inch drop. Knotted in between, $20. This, this I don't think is sterling. Just silver tone with a um, plastic black cabochon. It does have an extender. Without it, it's coming in at a seven and a half inch drop. I was you five dollars. This is Victoria Emerson. So she's a pretty good, um, pretty decent designer. Um, decent money, uh, not too expensive, but not cheap either. These feel like glass on a brown leather cord, is it brown? Yeah. And it is a wrap bracelet. So let's get the measurement. There's a couple different um, slots to put the little disc through. So it can either be 14 inches, 15 or 16 inches. So that could actually be a choker too if you wanted, or a wrap bracelet kind of like AB crystals in there. So let's do um, $12 on that. Let's see some more pearls. That's a cool clasp. I don't think it's sterling. I don't see any markings, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, let's see what these little chips are. Quartz and two different color pearls. You got the green and the orange, triple strand. Eight and a half inch drop, but there is an extender. $20. Beautiful fall colors. I have little baggies all over the place now. <laughs> all right, this just looks like a gunmetal Figaro chain, maybe. Very pretty, excellent condition. Nine inch drop, five dollars. I see some more pearls up here. This is definitely sterling, 925 marked right on the clasp there. These definitely look real. Yep, potato pearls. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the shape on those. It is a seven inch length. Let's do uh, $14. This looks like a little Zuni bear. He might just be like a lava rock or something. Or maybe just unpolished onyx, not sure. And some liquid silver. So let's um, test this. 
Let's see how we're going to do this. I usually wrap around my fingers so you have more of a surface area to scratch um, than to try to do like a little teeny spot on the chain, you know, a little teeny strand. Yes, it is sterling. So let's clean up that little bit that went on my table. Okay. Um, and that could be onyx here, just polished because that's shiny. So it's a seven and a half inch drop and I'm going to do um, $20 on it. This could also be onyx. Onyx and sterling, yep. SX, what does that say? SX925 and turquoise. So this is super long and I bet you, you can double it and it would be gorgeous. So let me give you guys the drop measurement as it sits. 22 inch drop, but like I said, I'm sure you can double it and that would look stunning. So I'm going to do 30 on this one. All right, let's see what this is. These look like some earrings. Oh, no, a bracelet. This does not look like sterling. No. But you have all these pretty little panels with rhinestones. I don't see any missing. Let's straighten you out. Seven inches. Let's do five bucks. Okay, let's, um, there's a couple more things. Okay. Ooh, rings. You know what, let's do those last because I think I'll have to test them. <laughs> and I'll try to test things all at once. Okay, this is Charming Charlie. It is a gold tone mesh necklace. Ooh, this is really pretty. Get that out of there. So you have these little droplets. It's kind of like a cloudy pink color. All the rhinestones are there, and then it comes down to a tassel. Absolutely beautiful. It is very long, and it has an extender. It is a 15 inch drop. Let's do $5. We have a black metal painted bow with um, rhinestones, a black chain. I don't see any that says 316L. Pretty cool. 10 inch drop, This is not sterling, it's just silver tone with, are you plastic? No, they're glass. There is an extender, seven and a half inches without it, $8.
Ooh wee, look at this. How cool is that? I don't see any markings. Everything's acrylic. Love it. It's a brooch, $8. All right, we're getting down to the end. A couple more pieces. Oh, look, it's a little deer, but with a blue stone. The last video we had the red stones. So super pretty, nice condition, silver tone, eight inch drop with an extender, um, $8. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be a long video. Sorry guys. This is awesome. Look at that. Is this a necklace? What is this? It's a bracelet? It's big. Men's bracelet, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's, um, it's eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches, gold tone. And all those blingy rhinestones. Look at that. Excellent condition. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a men's bracelet, but it's eight and a half inches. Um, that'd be cool as an anklet, huh? <laughs> um, let's do $8. Okay, I see a couple more pieces. This looks like sterling. Yep, 925 right there in the clasp. You got some seed beads and cat eye. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to test these because these might be garnet. No. Oh, wait, there we go. Nope. All right, so just a cute little necklace with a sterling clasp. Fifteen inch length. Let's do ten dollars. Okay. Um, there's one more. There's one more, and then no, I'm sorry, two more. And then I have the rings, and then I have. I'll show you guys. Oh, come on, let's go, buddy. That's pretty cool. Um, those are scratches though. Yeah. Ooh, it's a double-sided. I like that. Can just wear it on that side. This looks like a really nice chain. Yep. Um, I don't think it's gonna be sterling, no. But it's a really nice chain. It's twisted. Um, it's an 11 inch drop. There are a couple light scratches. Um, so I'll just do five. Okay, here's the last piece. That's Avon. Love, that's really cute. I like it. Long chain. 14 inch total, I mean 14 inch drop, and I will do $8. Okay guys, so check these out. So I think these are sterling. That one is cool with the little, um, what do they call that? The little boat. There's no markings on either of them. It says 300 right there, but that 
doesn't make very much sense unless it's 800. It might be 800. So let's just take a little scratchy poo there and a scratchy poo here. And then let's check this guy and then we'll go into the rings. Oh yeah. So we, oh wait, this one's not coming up as sterling. Let me try again. Oh yeah, there we go. Gotta, gotta dig a little deeper. <laughs> okay, so everything checks out as sterling. This one, the other one might be 800, but it would it'll still test. So this one, it it is, it does have initials on it. It's about almost five and a half inches. I will do um, $25. Oh wait, is that a mark? No, okay, 25 on that one. This one though is the unique one. And this one is a hair over four inches. And I'm going to do 35 on this one. Okay. All right, let's go through the rings. A ding dings. <laughs> okay, there's a little eight pair of earrings in here too. All right, let's go through everything one at a time. We have this little band ring. It's completely blank. It does say 925 on the inside, so we'll test that one. This one, I don't know what you say. You say a whole lot of stuff in there. We'll just test it anyway. These are all caught up, hold on. We have this one, it says DQCZ, and then 925 China. This one doesn't say anything at all, but we can test it. This one looks like maybe a toe ring that says peace. I don't see any markings. This one is gold, or gold tone rather, and stones, but I don't see any markings. This looks like another toe ring. This has a cheerleader on it, or these could be midi rings, like that. Um, I do see markings, but I can't read that, so we'll test everything. These are little dolphin earrings. I do see markings on the posts. And they say 925 Jordan. Huh. That's pretty cool, okay. And then this is the last one. And it says IB, I think it's IBB, CN925, which is just China. Okay, so let's test all of these and then we'll test the um, stones and then I'll give you prices. So here's the first one. Actually, this stone is still a little bit wet. Still a little bit wet. Okay, here we go. There's one. There's two, that one's not really, these two aren't giving me much hope. That one came out red, so that's like the copper. There's that one. 
Let's do this one next. Then we did this one. Okay. Then what do we do? This one, I think. Not that it really matters. I think I bent that one a little bit. Oopsies. Then we'll do the earrings. Then we'll do this little cheerleader ring. Then we'll do the leaves. Okay. All right, so this is a no, this is a no, this is a no. Okay, the rest are good. So let's clean it up. All right, let's do the nose first. So this was a no, this is not sterling. It is CZ though. It could be plated, you, you know, you never know. Pretty, but I'm not selling it as sterling because it did not test as sterling. It is a size eight. I will do $8. This one was the other no, the band ring, size 10. Makes a great thumb ring. I will do $6. This is the other one that did not test as sterling. Um, you can adjust it, it's a little piece it could be a midi ring or a toe ring. I will do $4. And, okay, so all the rest are sterling. Here's the first one. Oh, let me bring this over. Sorry. Glass. Gorgeous. I love, like, the double here. Are we, are we focused? Got the two stones on the sides. Size seven and a quarter. Twenty bucks. This one was sterling. Size six. Twelve dollars. This one is sterling. Let's check the, this is a vermeil. Just glass. I would say about a six and a quarter to a six and a half. This finger is a seven, so it does fit, but it's a little chunky. So, um, you know, six, six and a half, I would go with. Oh, what the hell happened there? Um, excellent condition. Actually, it, it's got a little bit of wear on the back. So let's do 10 on that. The earrings that are Vermeil, I think it was. Oh, they're actually, oh wow, the other side says 1 20th, 10 carat. And then 925 Jordan. Okay, so um, they're little hoops with the dolphins. I'll do 20 on those. This has the little leaves. Just glass, it is sterling. You can adjust this one. It, since it is a bypass ring, it's a seven and a half that it's sitting at right now. I just won't, I just, you know, wouldn't recommend to stretch it much more than that, but I will do $16 on it. And then this little guy was sterling, the little cheerleader toe ring or midi ring, and I'll do $12. All right, you guys, that was a lot. I'm so sorry it was so long, but this was a really good lot. So Monday's video and today was 
um, all one lot. Um, I purchased it privately, for, you know, from somebody privately. So it's not from any store or anywhere. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up. Check the sold list down in the description, uh, down in the comment section. Refresh the page so you see the most up-to-date sold list. All my information is always in the description box. Thank you guys again, and we will see you in the next one.